is expected to announce the closure of some banks by close of today, August 1st, 2018. The independent newspaper has reliably informed. Um, Though the paper cannot independently verify the banks involved, our checks show that operation of about 40% indigenous banks will grind to a halt by close of today. Very, very, very worrying. According to sources, these banks are being closed down due to liquidity challenges, including the central bank's 400 million Ghana cities recapitalization directive. The development does not come as a surprise, as a coalition of local banks petitioned President Akufado pleading for extension of the recapitalization deadline. Alex, what is happening in the banking system? Is, is, what's going on? <coughs> it's only a uh, government that will be able to tell us what they are. <laughs> why, why government? Uh, I mean, because, uh, you know, some of us have been saying that, uh, yes, it's good that uh, the banks recapitalize, because when they do the recapitalization and you uh, push the threshold higher, okay. what it means that, uh, you are giving, you are strengthening their capacity to take on, <coughs> uh, I mean, bigger transactions and, and, and so on. But the, at the same time, we need to be mindful of the fact that uh, we need to grow our own. Because uh, we have a situation where our local banks are competing with foreign banks, yeah. and not just ordinary yeah. foreign banks. You understand? They are competing with the, the big uh, uh, players yeah. in the industry yeah. and definitely they will have s some challenges and some of these foreign banks that we are talking about have been in the country for a very long time the indigenous ones are now springing up and it will take time for them to get to that level so I believe that uh, if governments really want to build capacity and want to build the uh, indigenous uh, bank what you do in every country you this you can't do certain policies and just have it in a in a, in a wholesale uh, way there's supposed to be some discrimination here and there that is why they are Ghanaians okay. so if the okay. company uh, uh, or the bank is owned by a Ghanaian hundred percent Kenyan what's prevents you from saying that uh, we are saying that uh, you should have a, 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 a liquidity of about 400 million, but uh, for indigenous bank, we are making it 200. Mm -hmm. That is your priority. That is why the are Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. you know, and I think uh, we begin, we should look at the interest of the Ghanaian first. Okay. Because uh, all that the economic problems that we are having, especially with the depreciation of the city, is due to some of these things. Because they come in, definitely no investor will put his money into um, a venture that he, that he, 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 he is not sure of reaping in uh, profit. Okay. So when they make profit, what happens? Mm. Definitely the profit must go to where the investment is coming from. Okay. And these are things that we do that put pressure on our currency. So do we need to do, we need to do any blame game? Uh, to me, you know, this process that they are uh, continuing actually was started by the NDC in government. And um, I, I'm not preview to the full uh, policy, okay. but uh, I know that uh, whatever it takes, you know, we should be able to have the Ghanaian attacked. Okay. You know, let's, let's begin to look for the interests of each other. That is how you develop a nation. Okay. If we are developing a nation at the expense of the city's ring, then we are not going to move anywhere. Okay. So to me, yes, it's a policy that the Bank of Ghana is coming out with just to uh, regulate the system. And you know, uh, we also have a problem in the country. And the problem has to do with the fact that we don't trust each other. Because what is happening could also mean that uh, if one or two indigenous banks can come together, merge, yeah. you understand yeah. me, and come out with a common name to operate with. Yeah. I'm sure it will solve the, but because of lack of trust among them, you know, they don't want to. Yeah. You know, and that is a very serious problem okay. when it comes to business development in our part of the world. Okay. You know, people start 
it's not even in the banking industry alone. In other sectors, they start and they want to maintain what they started, that small thing, and continue with it. Well, next well, they start and they realize that, oh, my colleague is doing something similar to what I'm doing. Let's bring our resources together and let's expand. Okay. You know, we don't do that here because of lack of trust. All right. and, and, and I think uh, it is hard time that the, at the business schools okay, that we have in our various institutions, they begin to hit hard on these elements okay. of trust. You know, so that the people will begin and let them know that uh, it's part of the business. You know, people match based on trust and they, 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 they move on okay. very well. Right. So, uh, although the problem can be solved in another way, I believe that the government should be a little bit more discriminatory when it comes to okay. uh, this issue, so that at least um, uh, the local banks are giving some concession okay. in their favor. Uh, as for foreigners, we can be hard on them, and I, I will support in the, uh, this thing. We are not saying that, they, but then we should be hard on them, so that because if they can come in with that huge amount, let them come in, and, then, and let's be a little bit soft on our own. Doc, Doc is smiling at that. I don't know why she's smiling at that. But then also, are we losing the public um, confidence in our banking system? Are we are we seeing a declining confidence? Um, Doc, what do you make out of this? Before I even answer that question, mm. I'm, I'm for bailout, you okay. know, okay. bailout, especially for the smaller banks, as he said. Mm. Um, banks that are owned by Ghanaian citizens, either citizens by birth or by naturalization. Mm. We really need to develop the private sector because private sector development drives um, economic development mm. in the country. And until we support the the um the private sector by reducing interest rates by helping other banks that provide especially loans and um, seed capital to smaller industries or smaller um, companies um, we will have a problem so we really need to bail some of these banks out and um, ensure that they are sustained okay. because most of these uh, for example rural banks they provide loans to farmers and um, small business owners and if we just let them die out that will affect so many families so that um, we are pleading that something should be done for these smaller banks okay. if there's a need for bailouts build them out help them with their debts um, get them back on track and going back to the issue of training train them well so that they don't commit that um, okay. mistake yeah okay all right, so um, Alex, I, I hear even today one of the banks has have told some of their, their staff not to come to work and all that. So it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is scary. What would you want to tell? See, tell. No, I don't want to mention any particular yeah. bank. I'm also yet. not mentioning yes, bank. Yes, see, but there, there was one particular bank that is among yeah. the ones that yeah. should be liquidated. Yeah. Or, and um, I, I love that bank simply because um, they employ our youth. You see them at the marketplaces going around, yeah. taking money yeah. from women yeah. and sending it to the bank. You know, and they are doing so well. And they have employed, they've given employment to so many of our youth. Okay. And you see, some of these policies that we are coming up with uh, should not always be aimed at, uh, let's say, um, the economic uh, good of the country alone. Let's look at the social aspects okay. as well. You know the employment that is creating the 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 the, the, the relief that is given to uh, families. Yeah, but Alex, if, if it must be done, it must be done. It must be done. Yeah. You know, but that is where you need to be discriminatory. Okay. You know, the discriminatory policies. Okay, is is to help your home develop. Like the bailouts that um, Doc yes, talked about. Yes. Okay. You know, we don't have that bailout in the system, you know. So if we don't have it, then be discriminatory, okay. you know, so that at least people that are your own okay. benefit from it. Okay. And that is all that. You're, and uh, I think uh, the categorization, too, of the banks is another major problem. Mm. Because the banks that... When you say it, categorization, what do you mean by categorization? You know, because the banks have different uh, operational okay. areas. Okay. You understand? Yeah, so yeah, if you yeah. put all of them together... And you said that uh, we want your recapitalization to be that you you you, you will be faulty, mm. and that is why I'm saying that uh, we need to properly classify them, 
Okay. If we properly classify them, they will know that oh, this class, this is the limit that we should take them to. This class, this is how they should uh, 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 behave. If we do that, but now what we have done is that uh, all of them are in the same jacket. Okay. And that is creating problems for them. Okay. Because some of them, you know, we have banks that are investment bank. We have banks that uh, take uh, uh, deposits. They are banks. I mean, they have different different functions. Okay. So why do we uh, put all of them in the same uh, right. category? Okay. You know, we need to. Uh, be smart on okay. some of these Alright, Doc, I mean, you're, you're, you're a mother, you're a lady. What would you want to tell citizenry? I mean, we should, we should relax. We shouldn't be scared. What, what do you want to tell us? There is hope. I'll say there is hope. Okay. Um, we are here advocating for better strategies, and we are, um, we are hopeful that structures will be put in place to okay. help. So there's no need to be um, threatened or be anxious. Okay. We, the, the government is putting in place, you know, structures that will help salvage the situation. Okay. So we should keep the hope alive. All right. Okay, we'll be leaving the discussion right now. We, we, we're eating a lot into time with this one. And but before we're like in 10 seconds each, um, we've discussed so many things. What do you want to end with? Tell you, Madam has a last word. 10 seconds. Yeah, I on think anything uh, we've discussed. Yeah, I think uh, that I would like to hand on this uh, banking sector, what is going on because um, it is going to create a lot of uh, unemployment situation for us and as a nation we need to take through this before we, we implement the policy. Okay. Uh, once it has started imagine now that uh, it's creating problem for our indigenous banks it means also that uh, there's nothing preventing us from going back to the drawing board and redesigning the policy so that uh, it will take care of some of these problems that are coming up. Okay. Uh, right. It is not a good thing if we collapse all the uh, indigenous banks. Uh, it, it will have its own uh, economic uh, replication on our uh, uh, system. So okay. let's look at it. Let's go back to the drawing board and redesign the policy to take care of some of these problems that are coming out. Oh, okay. All right, Madam, you have the last word. So let's be hopeful. As I said, let's um, put up a positive attitude towards um, nation building. Let's make sure that the resources that are entrusted to us, we make good use of them and um, be a proud citizen of Ghana. Thank you. Okay. I'd like somebody says I should ask you that the luxury car taxes, he thought has been charged of the ports. No. Oh, okay. It's, it's an annual okay. uh, charge. So when All you right. pay at the port, uh, subsequently when you are going for renewal, you pay. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. So I've been mean, having it's a lovely, lovely discussion. It's not discussion. a one-off tax. Oh, okay. And and I know you've enjoyed the discussion. I've been talking to Alexander Kwaku, um, an NDC activist and a tax expert and consultant. Alex, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And then also we had Dr. Tina Brefat Jan, a PhD assistant professor at Norfolk State University in Virginia, USA. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And um, I'm going to end with my proverb like I do every time. This is a Euroba proverb, and it says that. All lizards lie flat on their stomachs, and it's as difficult to determine which one has a stomach ache. It is so true. All right, and I'm leaving you with a, with a feature on cassava turned into energy. of GDP. My name is Percy, and my brother, James Asa. We are the two brothers which we build a uh, electrical energy from cassava. The things came to our mind that uh, let's do something which will help people, like uh, electricity.